what's going on guys? Welcome back to another installment here of the Student Spotlight. Today, we have a really special guest here today. Do you mind introducing yourself? Hello, my name is Luke Smith. I'm a sophomore communications major here at Dean College. I'm also a minor in acting theater. Oh, how's that, having you know, a major and a minor? It's, pretty, it's a pretty fun time, honestly. You know, mm. like, at first I didn't know if I wanted to minor in something, then I had a bunch yeah. of interactions with people in the theater department. And so I was like, hmm, this might be interesting to get involved with. So I met the professor, and he was, he's a very fun guy, Daniel Kozar. And I was like, I want to take, take up a minor in acting. And so I did. That's awesome. So can you talk about your position here at the Dean News Network? So I serve as the vice president and assistant director of Dean News Network. I also operate as the floor manager. So I manage what goes on within mm -hmm. the studio. I um, make... I, I'm in charge of the camera people. Right. Uh, I'm making sure that all is going well within the studio and make mm -hmm. sure everything's controlled. Awesome. So why did you join DC News Network? So I started with DNN uh, this year. Um, I was brought on to be one of the assistant directors. Um, I, wasn't in, I wasn't exactly sure if I could do it necessarily. I was very nervous. Um, but after enough time, enough confidence, enough building up, I felt that this would be something I'd be a part of. Mm. I love what the club brings, the idea of getting students from all walks of life to work in a video production environment, to get involved in doing something like working the camera, working the control board, being a director, making content for people to see that like they, have mm. that, like, they can share with their friends. Like, with all the, like we've been posting a lot of episodes and like yeah. people have been like, seeing them and it's been getting a lot of positive reception. I've oh, been very happy to see oh that. Oh yeah, 100%. What do you say that's like your favorite part of the News Network? The feedback is honestly one mm -hmm. it is probably one of my favorite parts. Yeah. That, the interaction between like all the students getting to know that they're having a great time in the club. It's always fantastic to know that someone's always having always happy. You know, you don't want someone who's upset, you know? Like mm -hmm. nobody likes that. It's about a positive environment. Exactly. It's a positive fun environment that people should feel comfortable in. I don't want people feeling comfortable in this environment. 100%. Now, I want to tie it back a little bit more. You talked about your minor in theater, correct? Yes. Now, I, want, I, I know, um, since you missed a little bit of the News Network and you were well missed, working on Our Town. So can you break down what you did with Our Town, your experience, how much fun you had, stuff like that? Yeah, so I was the assistant stage manager for uh, Dean's production of Our Town, directed by Daniel Kozar. Um, it, uh, I also played a baseball player ensemble, mm -hmm. and a dead soldier. Now, I wasn't actually like laying down on the floor dead. I was playing oh. like his apparition, a ghost. Um, mm -hmm. So my job mainly entailed working closely with the stage manager, Lily Plummer, um, making sure, similarly like what I do here, to mm -hmm. make sure everyone was on time to their, um, to their call, make sure everyone was doing what they needed to do, working with people to make sure that they were feeling comfortable doing what they mm -hmm. were doing. Um, as for my roles, I got to wear a night. I my was a baseball player, but I wasn't wearing like the typical baseball clothes. I was wearing like the 1910s best. So like, nice pair of rompers, a nice pair of rom like a like a pair of rompers. Yeah. It was just a. It was a great way to look. Then I played a dead soldier, and you know, honestly, I wasn't a big fan of just sitting there like, just dead, not saying anything, just straight face for the entire second half, mm -hmm. second, yeah, second half to half of the show. But it was it was an experience nonetheless. Oh yeah, looking you know pretty like straight, just like not having fun face or just like a straight serious face, like mm -hmm. like just looking like right dead ahead. Yeah, sounds not, sounds like me in some of my classes. Yeah, it was no fun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if only. Um, now I know you love um, video cameras and videos and stuff, but that's not the only expertise I believe you have on a camera. Can you break down what you can do with um, the photography business? So I'm also a photographer. I work as one of the um, on-campus photographers. Uh, in the past, I've done photos for the shows like Scapino and Footloose. Um, I did the photos for the 5K in the fall. Um, I wanted to do photos for Catch Me If You Can coming up mm -hmm. in April, um, but I never was able to. In fact, the professor says, um, he, he looked at me and said, I asked him if I could do photos, and he was like, we, uh, we might have someone else doing that. We'll have you do something else. And I'm like, what does that mean? Am I going to do something? I want, I want to take photos. You're, you're irreplaceable <laughs> but, in our hearts here, Luke. <laughs> Yay, I feel so honored. 
And yeah, I have an Instagram page for my photography. Mm -hmm. uh, you can go ahead and check it it's, it's, uh, it's, it's got a lot of my uh, photos on there if you want to check them out. Awesome. Now, life is like a journey, right? And I'm Indeed. sure your Dean experience here from freshman to sophomore year, you've grown a lot. What do yes. you think is the one thing you, like, you've learned here at Dean so far? I've been, so after being here for two years, I remember starting out and I was the uh, nervous anxious student who didn't really know what he was getting involved in, didn't know what he was doing. But then I started getting more involved. I started putting myself out there more with like getting involved with like clubs like Dean News Network, um, hanging out with the theater students and eventually getting involved in shows. I did Twelfth Night last year and that mm -hmm. really started to get, get the ball rolling for me. The best thing I learned about being a student at, from my experience was getting involved as much as humanly possible. Like, I like making sure that my academics were the best it could be, but also mm -hmm. making sure I was doing something so I'm not cooped up in my room doing nothing all day but playing yeah. video games, which is a fun time, but mm -hmm. for so long. Got to have a balance. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. It's, it's, and the best thing, you, like, honestly, the best thing you can do is find a hobby. Find something you're interested in that, like, speaks to you. Yeah. Like, if something like, D, like what we offer at Dean News Network interests you, that's something that, like, you sh that you should try and go for. A hundred percent. And it seems like um, you've grown a lot and you've came here to Dean College and you'll be leaving because I believe you'll be studying away in London. Can you break That's, that down? Yeah, so I'm planning to study away at Regents University in London. Um, the school is in the heart of, of London, so that's downtown area like where Big Ben mm -hmm. is. Um, I looked into it and it's a beautiful college. Like, there's a, like I saw pictures it says it's the, it, there, was a, there was a slogan they have on there. It said the region's difference. And I thought to myself, I'm like, that's Dean's line. You can't take that from Dean College. But They're just fans. <laughs> <laughs> they hate us because they ain't us, right? Mm -hmm, 100%. <laughs> Undoubtedly. <laughs> well, like I saw the courses they offered, the courses, like I saw the place that was there, the opportunities I could get from going to London. And I was like, I need to jump on this. I met with Melissa Reed. Mm -hmm. She accepted my application and I've been pre-approved to go to London, so I look forward to that in the spring of next year. Good for you, that's awesome, that's awesome. You know, going away, flying out with your wings a little bit. Yeah. And um, we're about to wrap it up here, but I, I wanted to save, you know, the best for last of you. Well, you had a story you wanted to talk to me about. <laughs> so if I'm reading this right, it says the one minute rice. So, I, yeah, so I worked for the radio station mm -hmm. at, uh, at Dean College, Power 88. Yep. And so um, on like special admissions days, um, we have a remote broadcast. So one day we were trying to think of stuff to talk about. I couldn't think, we couldn't think of anything. And so I'm sitting there thinking about it. I'm like, what if we just talked about something absolutely random? And so I thought of it, I, I thought of it, and I'm like, Minute Rice. So I went on the radio station and I started going for five minutes or so about Minute Rice. It was probably the most entertaining thing to me. It's on Power Idiot's Facebook, so go check it out. It's worthwhile. It's so totally worthwhile. Did, did it take a minute? It, it actually took 58 seconds. So I thought of false advertising or I've got a talent. And I, th I think because I like being talented and stuff, I have a talent to make Minute Rice in 58 seconds. Sure. That is a move and a half. But it's just me going on about how I made Minute Rice. It took me 58 seconds. Um, and then, like, the others being like, nobody cares. And I'm like, people care. There are people on this radio station that are definitely listening. and be like, yeah, 58-second Minute Rice. Yeah. I don't know if I'm one of them. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's all the time we have here today. Thank you guys so much. And thank you for Luke for being on today. I loved hearing about, you know, your experiences here at Dean. Of course. Thanks for having yeah. me. Have a nice night, guys.